mud bath. Let's see them together. We landed. We made it. Where are we now? We're in Amsterdam. Then what? So we'll fly in an hour and a half to Uganda. For another nine hours. <laughs> Can I get a booyah? <laughs> Update. It's like midnight at home, but it's 8 a.m. here. And so we didn't sleep last night. We skipped the night. We got gypped. And now it's like bright outside and we're ready for bed. <laughs> you excited? I'll be more excited when I'm more awake. getting <laughs> on our last flight. We're almost there. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> we made it. There's Emma. Say hi, Emma. Hi. Hi, Kenna. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just on the side of the road and we're like in the middle of nowhere. They're trying to fix it, but it's popped and everything. We're on the side of the road. We made it! Woo! -hoo. Say your names. What's your name? Ino Singh. Uh, and? You know me. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> How many hours of travel? <laughs> I look like a rat. <laughs> you think so? Really good. He <laughs> did! Oh, he did! I missed him! He wants to another To find you seated, show you their love. to be see me at the bottom of the camera. Okay, it's day one in Africa, and we are having so much fun. We're way out here. We are way out here. It's so cool. <laughs> Ken has wanted to do this for so long. I know, this is my dream. Say, say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. Okay, we're at hotel number two. It's so cute, and I guess that monkeys are going to wake us up in the morning. And I freaking love monkeys, so. This is our room. Let's see how it is. Okay, we have a bathroom. Cute. This is the honeymoon suite, babe. No mosquitoes are getting us tonight. Time we've ever overpacked. We have literally overpacked. But honestly, let me just tell everybody this. 100% 
of everything that's in the big bags is food. So, I would call us overprepared, right Jack? Yeah. Also, I've never been this gross in my whole entire life, but I'm feeling myself. I'm actually really happy. Is there a monkey call? Again? Is there a monkey call that we can call them? <laughs> I uh, put like, if you get a banana and maybe you put it somewhere. <gasps> Do you have a banana? Yeah. Really? Can I have it? Yeah. Let's put a banana out. Let's put some yeah, bait. Maybe you just put it somewhere there. Yeah? Somewhere right here? Okay. Yeah. This has to work. Yeah, I put some there. Hopefully they will come. Hopefully they'll come. I'm going to watch for them, okay? Okay. I walked outside without repellent on and I'm pretty sure I've been bit and I was outside for 30 seconds, so. This village. So they had the well before. They had the well. We just fundraised so they could have fresh water. So they have fresh water. When you're only counting time to the continent. Okay. See if there's more purple sauce. You want more purple sauce? Yeah. Uh, this is a traditional, pretty much everyday meal for Ugandans. Potatoes, pineapple, rice, banana puree. I don't remember what else. Catch him this one. I got, oh. I got nervous. Oh, that's a <laughs> whole thing. Now peace sign. Peace. <laughs>
close to the truth. That was the craziest day. That was so fun. A village in Africa. I can't, I can't. In a village in Africa. It's a really good day. Kids just kept coming up and like laying on his lap and falling asleep. It was so sweet. Monkeys, what do the monkeys do? String. Yeah. This is one zip from up. Okay. Then Why do we have to do that? Because to keep the monkeys away. The monkeys, the monkeys know monkeys how to unzip? Out. Yes, but not to untie. That they don't know how to untie, not yet. Yeah. Hopefully I'm good at tying knots. Yeah, we better tie it nice then. <laughs> Babe, this room is so cute. We're like in a cabin, babe. What's in our bed? So they bring hot water and put it in these like warm packs. No way. And they put it in our bed. To warm it up? They warmed our bed. Oh my gosh. Awesome? They're so cute. We don't even have to have a mosquito net in this because the whole, thing is in the, net. the whole thing is a net. So we are going to go to dinner and we are waking up what time tomorrow? I don't know. 5.30? No, we're leaving at 5.30 to go on a safari. Are we all day. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Alright, kind of what just happened. Oh my gosh. So, usually I brush my teeth in the sink when I'm out of the country because I lived in Peru for a year and a half and I'm like, fine, I don't swallow the water. Jack's more paranoid. Just barely turn on the water. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Anyways. To be clear though, when we got here. When we got here last night, we're just like sick, we've been flying all day, whatever. We're done with the shower, right? And it's like, feeling good, showering, and then totally after the shower we get out, there is black dirt all over us, like 100% covered my face, my hair, my everything. I'm like, what am I freaking do? So I just had to wipe myself off on this towel, let me see if it's this towel. My hair's covered in that dirt, there's nothing we can do because we can't shower anywhere else, so there's our TED talk. I did say we have to brush with the water bottle, and she said no. No, I did today. So I've been brushing today. with the water bottle. I just did today. The water never looked like She's that, nasty. though. <laughs> no, I'm not. 
that Go was on crazy. safari. Last night was like Jurassic Park here. I don't know how we're gonna fall asleep. Cause we're just in the middle of the safari, so we were hearing like all sorts of animals. They didn't keep us up though, we were tired. <laughs> Hey babe, what's up? What's going on? Hey, we're just about to head out on our safari. So we're chilling on top of the van. To chase That's with no mm -hmm. kill. With no kill, we got a no chase. Kill. Just got back from the safari. Oh, that was amazing. Jack is sleeping, but he's the sweetest angel I've ever seen. Hi. Mm -hmm. You look so cute. You're the men here. Oh, hey, we have a men here. Hey, hey man. Come on in. Hiding. Come on in. The water's in the Hey, Wendy. hey, let's see it. Wendy, come on in. Come on in. We'll do that later. Let's go. We're going to Maasai Hut. Maasai Hut. Let's go. Do they cook in here? No. I'm taking it to where they cook. Okay. Come on in. Kenna, you can follow him. He's talking. I get claustrophobic. I can't. Babe, take the camera. Um, I don't know if I can do it. She's scared. Wait, no, I get claustrophobic. Wait, take my camera. Turn up the eye. You may need to use your phone, I guess. Okay. Heading out. Guys, check out this this runway. It's freaky. Oh. <laughs> it's a field. This it's is a cool. field. This is our runway. So they've landed on enough times where it looks like it's a road, but it's not. <laughs> We're on our way home. We're on our way home. Love you, Africa. Woo! Okay, so we are waiting for our food at KFC. 
We're so pumped. This is the first American food we found. I know. Even we're like psyched. the relatively close to American food is the first place. I know. So so quick recap of our trip. We were in we were in Uganda for uh, how many days? Like five days. Five days. We traveled around to like different cities on a bus, and we just had all of our suitcases on top. And the streets were so crazy. There was like potholes everywhere. So we had suitcases flying off. We had off, suitcases we had, flying off the top. It was all the kids would like run to it. It was insane. But we went to a couple of these villages that because we did like a lot of good for them. We brought them goats and we brought them cows and we brought them. We helped them build a water well and we provided money for them to have clean water and it was so cool. This trip's nice because I feel like we're doing stuff that's actually going to help sustain them, like clean water, cows, goats. No, it's not just like I'm going to go and pass out candy and take pictures with kids. It's like no, we actually are like sustaining these people for a long time and. But how is Africa different than that would be? I don't know. Like I, I think I knew kind of what it was like because I've done so much research. Um, I thought I would feel like a little more unsafe. I don't know if that's bad to say, but I don't really feel unsafe here. I don't either. I was doing okay the first few days when we were visiting the villages and stuff, and the kids would play with us. But the last day, we met this little boy that was. Um, like not doing well at all and he was really really sick and it just hurt my heart that I couldn't give him medical attention. Anyways, showing up to the first village and everyone was that screaming, was crazy, enchanting, guys. insert clip now. <laughs> They were, the women were screaming and chanting and they had been waiting for us to come for months and months because they knew that we were bringing goats and cows. It was so cool. And they have gifts for us. And yeah. it's like they're... They have these like, so they got all of the girls these dresses and then they gave Jack, um, <laughs> like one time they gave him a pumpkin, another time they gave him like these like horns and they're like the most special gifts to it's them. It's cool because it means so much to them and they're giving it to us. And I you know. know. Like... Anyways, our KFC, we need to go order. Time to order. Are you happy right now? I'm happy. <laughs> Let's see a big bite. You want me to take a bite? <laughs> That's so hot. <laughs> what did we just do to that KFC? We just destroyed it. I honestly feel great. I feel good.